Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Thailand Dreaming. Love letters from me, Thailand. And yes, I've got the hat back on again and the sunglasses because I'm out in the afternoon glare. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my face off here anyway and just give you a little bit of a rundown on what's been happening with me, what's happening in Thailand at the moment as regards into uh, Rona and the restrictions and whatnot but I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a look at where I am because I'm at the, at the wharf at the inlet for the fishing boats at the north end of Cha Am Beach so I'm going to take the camera off me and uh, put it on the uh, external view while I keep yakking so please enjoy I don't know if I've got too much to talk about I've been feeling extremely bored apathetic and lazy under the current situation. I've been self-isolated since I came back from Bangkok because it was a red zone. I'm in a red zone, I can't travel anywhere. And so, you know, I'm not real pleased about the situation, but I'm doing okay and everyone else is doing okay, although some people are doing it really, really tough. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the camera around and you can uh, see where I am. I'll keep yakking though. Sunglasses and hat on, it's really hot. You might wonder why I've got a long sleeve shirt, long sleeve, um, shirt on, that's because of the new tat that some of you would have seen in the last video, getting ink in Thailand, and so I'm protecting that from the sun. So let's have a look at what's going on around me. Just hold okay, on a so second. Here I am, I'm at the uh, inlet to the uh, Cha Am fishing depot where all the boats come in. As you can see, it's extremely hazy today. The water's beautiful, it's like a sheet of glass. It's really hot, I wish I could go for a swim, but I can't because of this new tattoo, so I've got to stay out of the salt water for a while. So I'm gonna take a walk up to the, look at the ocean, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's a wonderful place here, I really like it, but the haze is just terrible, this is, uh, you know, pollution, this is the time of year where everyone's burning off and a lot of it comes down from up north in the provinces, up in Isan, and a lot of it comes from Bangkok and it blows down this way. This is a bit of a fishing spot here. A lot of guys get out along the rocks down here. I haven't done any fishing here yet, but I'm going to. I did bring my two rods and I've got a box full of lures. So I'm actually looking forward to getting into doing that very soon. Here's some fishing boats coming back in. God, the haze is just so bad. Yeah, so I've been in self-isolation for, uh, yeah, over two weeks now, and uh, staying a bit isolated, I'm a little bit worried about uh, the Rona. I don't really want to get it, but, uh, you know, just hang on a second, this might get bumpy while I put the mask on because there's people up here. Okay, so I've got my mask on now. And as you can see, there's some boats coming back in. I guess from uh, being out early this morning or last night and this morning. So they're coming back in. God knows what catch they've got. Um, one of my videos earlier on in the uh, YouTube uh, creativity uh, mode was uh, watching those boats loading ice before they were going out a little bit further down, down there where the, um, the co-op is. It's expensive to buy seafood here though. It's cheaper to buy in other places really. Yeah, so there's the fishing boats. I'm not sure they go out looking for fish or shellfish or prawns or whatever, but obviously they've got boxes on board. They look pretty low in the water, so they may have a bit of a catch in there. I think they're pretty much local these ones. I don't think I think they just fish down in the Gulf of Thailand. I don't think they go very far. Yeah, so it's pretty crappy this wharf. Hasn't been a bit neglected. A lot of people come out here partying at night time. And a lot of people come here fishing. It's not really the best upkept place I've seen around Cha Arm. But it's an interesting little walk. I'm going to walk out to the giant squid, which is out on the uh, end of the wharf. 
out on the end of the pier or wharf or whatever your break wall, whatever you want to call it. It's a couple of man-made break walls here. You can see the other one over the other side. Yeah, so this is Cha um, at the moment. You can see it's extremely quiet. You, this is a Sunday. And of course, usually on the weekends, there's loads of people here from Pachaburi, Kanchanaburi, uh, from Bangkok and all around surrounding areas. They come here for their weekend by the seaside. There's hardly anyone. I just saw three ladies walking up here with an esky full of beer. So it looks like they're still partying for New Year. Thai people love their beer and love to party. Looking down that way is towards Hua Hin. Haven't been to Hua Hin since I had the uh, last work on the tattoo. I'll be going down there on, uh, on Tuesday to get it finished. I think about two hours work. I won't bother videoing any of it. I just want him to get on with it and get it finished and then get it healed. It's pretty, the sun on the water there. It's just a shame about the haze. Over the back there, you can see the mountain, Nang Panturat, which uh, I did another video on where I climbed up to the top of the mountain. That was a, that's an interesting bit of a hike. I'm going to do that again at some stage. Yeah, so this is what I do at the moment just to get out of the house. I've been sitting at home moping all day. I had a really bad night. Woke up three times, woke up at four o'clock in the morning, couldn't get back to sleep. When I finally got back to sleep, I woke up at nine o'clock this morning and I felt like I had a hangover, but I hadn't even been drinking. And I've been feeling a little bit down today. Just the apathy and the boredom and the laziness sort of getting to me. I really like to get out and do things and haven't been able to. So just coming for a walk up here today and uh, having a cruise around. So there you go. This is the uh, inlet for all the fishing boats. Looks quite beautiful today, but there's so many people leave so much rubbish lying around the place, it's disgusting. Those guys have been fishing. He's got a few fish there. So yeah, handheld mobile phones that so might not be too stable, but you know, just wanted to let you peeps know what's going on, what it's like here at the moment. Cha'am is in Pachaburi province, which is a red zone. Bangkok is a red zone. Apparently you need special permission to um, travel in and out of these provinces. I'm not particularly interested in going and getting that. I even had hotels booked and everything up near Con Can to do a trip up there and had to can it because of this situation. It's not too bad, it's not as bad, anywhere near as bad in s as some other countries, but uh, yeah, it's an inconvenience, I guess, but uh, life's still really good here. Okay, I'll do some more a little bit later on. Ciao for now. Okay, I'm gonna walk right up to the giant squid at the end of the wharf. Some dudes fishing down here, net fishing, so not sure how, that will, how well that goes here. I think they get small fish, nothing uh, fantastic. So what do you have? Yeah, so there's quite a bit of fishing goes on here and I will come out here and do some fishing very soon. I'm just frightened that I'll get the addiction again and be out here every morning at Sparrow's part and then be out here all night as well. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I, I haven't done any lure fishing. Like in Australia, I do a whole lot of fishing and uh, I fished with a guy named, well, who taught me to fish really well was a guy named Mark Smith, Smoke, who's gone now. Rest in peace, buddy. But he was Australian rock and beach fishing champion for a long time, a few times, and, and a great fisherman. And uh, yeah, we used to bait fish and we'd go out at dark in the morning and stay out late at night and fish off the edge of the rocks and the, and the rock shelves at a place called Terrigal in Australia, in New South Wales. Had some good catches, yeah. But I might come down here and attempt the lure fishing. I bought a box full of lures over here with me and I've got two really good rods. So I might come out and attempt that. And some people come down here, like the whole family, will come down here for a day or an evening fishing. As you can see, these guys have got their um, 
shelter set up here and the family's here. Some people there playing on their phones and just relaxing. Yeah, there's a lot of fishing goes on here. So I'm not sure what they catch. I've seen them catching, you know, medium sized fish. I've never seen anything fantastic come out of here. But then again, I haven't been here that many times. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop the mask and turn the camera around again. Yeah, so I'll take the sunnies off. I'm not taking the hat off. Uh, not today. It's too, the sun's too hot. I can feel it burning. It's really hot, I'm telling you. Wearing a long sleeve shirt, but you know, it has to be done at the moment. Yeah, and uh, with the camera turned around like this, I can sort of see the view that you're seeing when I've got the camera around the other way. Yeah, it's extremely hazy. But uh, it, it's a nice place here. I, I kind of really like it coming out here. So I definitely will come out here and do some fishing and let everybody know what sort of a fishing spot it is and uh, what sort of fish you can catch here. I'm still not even, you know, tuned up on what sort of fish you catch here. I, I don't think it's Brim and Taylor or Ludrick or anything like that. Well, you know, but you never know. You never know what comes in around here. And I guess with it being an inlet outlet, there's probably quite a few fish. Here's some uh, foreigners here fishing. Don't know where they're from, what they're fishing for. How you doing down there? What are you, bait fishing or lure fishing? Bait fishing. Getting anything? Just bites. Any decent fish around here ever? Oh yeah? Oh, I might give that a go one day. Oh mate, he's got something. What do you got, a rock? The girl's got the beer going on and the sunshade up. So what do you pee, mate? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm not sure if the mic's working either, so. Yeah, but uh, oh, there's someone's planted a couple of coconut trees here. Place could do with some trees. Um, let me turn the video camera Someone's around. planted a couple of coconut trees here. So it'd be nice if the local authorities came out and did a bit with this place. There's a section up here where it's completely collapsed. It's extremely dangerous. There's a big hole. There's quite a few people fishing here today. Yeah, the foreign guys, the uh, Falang said to me that quite often they get some big fish up the, off the end of the wharf. Up near the big squid up there, you can see it, that white thing, that's the big squid. Okay, so, I'll keep walking anyway. It is pretty here. Sometimes if there's no people, it's, it's quite nice. It's really relaxing and quiet. Just the sound of the ocean hear it up against the rocks there, I think you can hear it, I'm not sure. You can hardly see down to Hoahin today because of the, the uh, fog or the pollution or whatever it is. It doesn't look good, whatever it is. But the sky above me looks pretty clear, look at that. Yeah. So, as you can see, where I've got the camera facing now, that's north towards Bangkok. Nakhon Sakon is right at the tip of the Gulf of uh, Thailand and that's where the latest outbreak of uh, Rona burst onto us with I think around about 600 cases. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on numbers, but yeah, mostly it was uh, foreign workers, some legal, some illegal, coming in to work in the fish markets and on the fishing boats. So yeah, and it just sent us into uh, this uh, heightened restrictions, red zones and stuff, you know, everything that's going on now here in Thailand. Some people are scared, some people are really scared. I mean, I, mean, I have a certain amount of concern, but you know, I, I'm not scared, but uh, yeah. It's not good, it's not a good thing anyway. I feel sorry for those people that have lost lost family and friends and things like that. As you can see here, they don't do much maintenance on this thing. And uh, it's slowly collapsing. I dare say that's uh, lack of good fill. And 
not a good thing. I mean, they could fix it. I don't know why they don't take the opportunity while there's no people around to actually do it. There's an even bigger hole further up here. I usually ride my bike right out to the end here, but I thought I'd walk today and give everyone a bit of a look around at what's going on. Black dog, keep away from me black dog. I definitely don't want the black dog chasing me around. Had it a couple of weeks ago, the night of the black dog. Uh, looks like they're bait fishing. Some people fish with lures here. Obviously they've got set rods, they're bait fishing, so uh, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. As you can see, this part of the wall's just completely collapsed. It looks like they've attempted to fill it a couple of times and even that's starting to break away. Not a good thing. It means they haven't filled it correctly when they first built it, I guess. Not too good. Not 100% safe, I'd say. But you know, you get this. How you doing, matey? Getting anything? What are you, bait fishing? Yeah. yeah. Thinking of coming out and doing a bit of lure fishing. Yeah. Well, you're an Aussie, eh? Yeah. Where are you from? Melbourne. All right. A bit warmer here than Melbourne. Similar Rona situation, though. <laughs> I think so. In the US and Britain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. I'm going stir crazy. I think I'll have to get my fishing gear out. Oh, well, it just leads to the sofa. Me too. Everyone's got sofa-itis at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's a good spot. Is that uh, pollution's bad, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to go and head up to the squid. Everyone's having a bit of a party here today. How you doing, mate? So here we are up at the uh, giant squid. Apparently, you get good fish off the end of the uh, of the wharf here. Starting to crack and fall away there too. So yeah, this is a fishing, you know, a known fishing spot in Cha'am. So just about it for the day. I'm not going to do too much more. Uh, just to let you know that you know things are okay here but it's getting a bit boring and I'm going stir crazy and I'm up to coming out and running videos on this sort of stuff more fishing boats coming in here uh, these guys are all bait fishing here so no one lure fishing as far as I could see more fishermen coming in they're coming in from across the gulf over towards Patea Rayong out that way Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna head back now. I've had enough of this. It's really hot in this long sleeve shirt. I haven't got any fishing gear, so I can't go fishing. Haven't seen anyone catching anything. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if I do get out here with my couple of rods and my lures to see if I can uh, get hold of anything interesting. So, yeah. It'll be uh, bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please like the videos, share the videos, and uh, thanks very much for giving me your time and watching. And I'd like to personally thank right now all those subscribers I've picked up in the last month. Absolutely fantastic. You've made me really happy. And I want to thank all you guys for uh, who are making comments. I really love the comments. Uh, it really pleases me to hear, you know, that you like the videos or that you don't like the videos that doesn't please me too much you know but uh, you like the videos and you tell me what you've been doing it is interesting to me and uh, okay so thanks very much for watching ciao for now